Welcome to the making of the Time 100 presented by City. This year, City celebrates 200 years of helping people and their ideas move from ambition to achievement. To commemorate this milestone, there's a special feature in this year's Time 100, a look back at 200 years of transformative moments that have helped pave the way for this year's innovators. You know, a lot of magazines do lists. I think what makes the Time 100 special is that it's about influence. You can be an influential actress, you can be an influential politician, you can be an influential um, technology leader, any of those things. It has to do with finding the right people in each field, but it also has to do with making a whole product, um, the list of 100, and you sort of want all those people to um, become an interesting mix. Time always put a face on the cover. Um, there was always a person on the cover of Time, and it has been a part of the magazine's history to tell news stories through people. It's one thing to tell a story through a person in text, it's another thing and a really wonderful thing to be able to tell it visually. And you know, we want those images to be really special. We want people who are looking at the issue online or on the tablet or in print to feel like they are literally seeing someone. You know, the list is simply not credible if it's not largely international. I think for the first time this year uh, there are fewer American people on the list than from elsewhere in the world um, and probably that trend will continue. It's a reflection of the brand. Time has always been a global magazine. Um, it has a huge footprint uh, in a lot of countries outside the U.S. You know, there are people on the list whose influence is very local. Um, it's local to their position wherever they are in the world. I think usually even if their work is local um, you can tell from the nature of the work that they have sort of a global outlook. To me, that's really the defining mark, is, is this person in his or her field pushing the ball forward, um, whatever it is they're doing, whether it's battery power or philanthropic giving or filmmaking. Uh, I would say all of the people on the list will give you a little glimpse into how that particular field is changing. I think of someone like Salman Khan, who um, is the founder of Khan Academy. It's a collection of online tutorial videos, basically, um, that hundreds and thousands of people use on, available on YouTube. We live in a digital age and we can be doing things very differently, and it seems to me like someone like Salman Khan is, um, you know, in, in a simple, fairly low-tech way, um, really advancing the conversation about how we learn. When you look on the gatefold at the last three decades, all of the things that have happened in tech and how exponential that growth has been. I think people felt that way at the beginning of the 20th century. I think they felt that way during the Industrial Revolution. I'm not a history professor, but it does seem to me that they all represent paradigm shifts um, in technology and engineering and innovation. And you often have this sort of, you'll have a cluster of activity around those leaps forward. And I think certainly we're living through that kind of period now. It's not just that one thing happens, it's that a cluster of things happen and a society takes a leap um, instead of a step. You know, again, these are all people who excel at what they do. And I think, I mean, speaking personally, it's difficult to excel at what you do if you don't have a passion for it. You know, I'm thinking of some of the very familiar examples on the list this year. Someone like Hillary Clinton very clearly has a passion for what she's doing right now. Equally, we have a roboticist on the, on the list. I don't think he would have built that exact replica of himself in robot form if he didn't have a passion for robotics. It's such a diverse bunch of people. They have such diverse and broad interests. I think if you're a reader and you're looking at this list, you can find at least a handful of people and hopefully more like three or four or five handfuls of people who are doing work that is challenging and interesting and future-oriented and it stands to reason that a lot of that work is going to make the world a more interesting place if not a better place.